So JetBrains has finally released a new UI for PyCharm and other products. So PHP Storm, I know, benefits from this new UI as well. So I'm going to do a little reaction video here to see <laughs> what it looks like. I haven't tried it before. So they put out a post here. There's new UI. The new user interface reduces visual complexity, provides easy, easy access to essential features, and progressively discloses complex functionality as needed, resulting in a cleaner look and feel. The last time they did something pretty big, it was the commit flow, which I really disliked. I preferred the previous commit flow. I actually did some videos on that in this channel. Uh, you can see the link in the description to those. But this is completely new. See, it, it looks like a lot of things have changed. I like that you can do this and it'll show you the, I guess, the normal view and the dark mode. If I'm mistaken, this theme is Darkula. Enable the new UI. So it won't be enabled by default. Control Alt S to open settings. Uh, select Okay, right, let's take a look. So um, we're just going to go to settings, appearance, new UI. Okay, it's beta for now. Enable new UI. The new UI is a work in progress. Okay, visual complexity, main changes and known issues. Okay, we're looking at that. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. PyCharm must be restarted for the changes to take effect. Let's restart it now. Should be booting. Cool, so looking very different. So our pop-ups are the same data, just slightly different. See they're going with rounded corners there and then no rounded corners. Okay, today. Cool. Okay, so they icons now, they're not ooh, okay, icons up here as well. So we don't really have anything in here, but uh that's quite nice. I mean I like it so far just as it is. I mean I haven't really used it, but just aesthetically it looks pretty pleasing. Uh, let's init something in here. So terminal git init. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, right. Uh, git status. And OK. Uh, git add git commit. And we can do init commit. I like the colors in the terminal. Git status. Cool. We're on branch master. Now, OK, cool. So it looks pretty similar. And what if we want to make a change here? This is a test. And control K. So they went with their old style. So how can we see what the changes are? So can we preview changes? Can't see a preview. Surely you can see a preview. Okay. Interesting. Get rid of that. Um let's see. I like full screen mode. I do a lot of uh presenting in full screen mode. So we don't everything's in here now. Okay, file. Uh, view, appearance, actually presentation mode, what I use. Okay, cool. So we got a new layout. Oh, well, a new design here. Everything else is the same. And if we go here, so new UI, main changes, themes, icons, and fonts. The new light and dark color themes have improved. Yeah, light and dark is the words I was looking for earlier. Okay, cool. So can we expand this? Can we zoom into this image? Current file, I want to see. Okay, it looks like we have the debugger and the run up there. New UI. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it doesn't show in the full screen mode, but if we just ran it like that, it will. Um, but if we exit full screen mode, uh, appearance, exit full screen, so we can, okay, we can switch. Okay. I'm not sure why this has to be bright blue. Maybe they think, okay, this is the ultimate way that we will be coding. Everyone relies on that. Uh, window header, several new widgets. Okay, yeah, so what, can we switch through projects? Okay, that's nice. And we could switch branches here. Okay, what does control backtick do? Okay, we have the switch, edit color scheme, control tab. Okay, so they changed the switcher a little bit. Okay, All right. Um, main menu is now located. Okay, cool. Project widget, version control widget, run widget. Okay. Um, what happens to the debugger? Okay, cool. I mean, the debugger is looking nice. I must say the icons are a step up. Got a breakpoints are now placed over line numbers. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, does that make a difference? You can have a control line numbers. Okay, control shift A. That brings up the actions. You can place breakpoints in the alarm. Press control, they type breakpoints over line up to the table. Okay. 
annotations for Git blame. I have an updated color palette so you can see. Okay, okay, I like that. Let's see, annotate Git blame. Okay, we didn't commit that. Let's see. Uh, commit a test commit. Cool. And now annotate Git blame today. Okay. All right. So again, like, can we see the preview? Because we used to be able to do that. Maybe there's a way to do it. Maybe there isn't. Oh, show diff preview. There we go. Okay. That's better. The navigation bar is now located in the status bar at the bottom of what? Okay. Ah, okay. You know what? I don't really use that often anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. And you can just move it back to the top. Okay, initial reactions is I like it. <laughs> um, I got to work with it a little bit more to see how it uh, actually works. This is the most curious change to me. Theme, have they made themes easier? Okay, light. Oh, that's way too bright for me. I cannot type like this. Uh, theme dark. Um, let's see, where was it? Theme darkula. Uh, darkula is the best. And uh, let's see, what is the other one? Let's see. J light. Oh wow, that's that is just way too bright. High contrast. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I'll work like this, you know. High contrast. Uh, let's see what the other stuff looks like. Um, yeah, this is just not me. Cool, so that is it for the new UI. As I play with it more, I'll make sure I mention it in videos. But um looks pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Is it too bold? Is it? It seems much larger. I mean, it works for me when I'm creating videos, but uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below.